Hey, Whoa. dude! The doctors haven't cleared me for MJ hugs yet. Sorry. <laughs> I'm just not a fan of the lines on it. So Uni Unicycle says, uh, the second version is cool though. Uh, one of the too. promo pictures, nice. Hey, look at this—a little right. reunion. I'm so sorry. I kind of got pissed off them for bringing Tom Hardy's Venom in MCU sorry. just for a post-credit scene, then take him out of the MCU right. just to drop off a piece of symbiote so I can grow longer sorry to buy him a Spider-Man. I mean, being treated in isolation. Yeah, that, that, that could be what they're doing with it, me. but uh. Is it the same thing your mom had? It's yes. fine. I mean, because we already I had a a semi-accurate Venom before. Where, meaning, like, okay, it, land, it came from space. Right. It landed on Peter. Then it went I to Eddie right. in a church. I mean, they already oh, did that I before in live work. action. And they've done it on numerous cartoons. So, again, you, you got to do well, things say. different sometimes. <laughs> so, for me, uh, it's fine. I actually <laughs> like that post credit scene because I thought it was funny of, like, Eddie's like, dude, it's like, because everyone just kept saying, we need him in the MCU, we need him in the MCU, you know, at first people were like, no, keep him away, it's Sony, we don't want him, and then the movie was a big hit, and they were like, alright, you can put him in the MCU, and then they do for two seconds, and I thought that was like an ultimate, like, kind of middle finger, <laughs> like, he ain't going to the MCU, he's staying, in the, he's going to be part of the Spider-Verse stuff, but he ain't doing MCU stuff, but who knows, maybe you'll see him in Secret Wars, you never know, you never know. My old bike? Nah, I, I found it on the internet. It's a close match, though, right? Wow. Look at that. Peter got a red bike, and he's got a green bike. Stickers and everything. And Peter's wearing a blue flannel, and Harry's wearing a green jacket. It's just like those little subtle design choices where it's like we'll goblin and spider. Come on. Try to keep up. Although, I, I guess, you know, he may not be a goblin you in this sure one. Sure you're up for this? Oh, yeah. I'm feeling good. I was using the cane just for insurance, but... I don't even need it. I think you have more energy than I do. Okay. So, tell me everything. What's been keeping you busy? Can we just ride? Substitute teaching in between getting fired. I'm not a fan of the stops. So well, I guess tutoring a high school kid. He's special. Reminds me a little me actually. <laughs> um, I guess Harry, you know, his leg and stuff, so. Your help. Hey, I read about your old boss, Dr. Octavius. That must have been crazy. That's one way to put it. Yeah. This is cool. Like what a what a little nice little mission of like little like hey, ride your bike through the neighborhood in Queens. I have been there in a shop. How cool is that? I mean it's it's so simple, but it's like the treatment was horrible. I don't know, it's effective. It's nice. You can kinda of learn the neighborhood a little bit, see things from a street level. A tank? That's neat. Exactly the same as it did ten years ago. Yeah, I think they can bring him back permanently after the multiverse phase. Oh. Yeah, probably. Thanks. I mean, you know, they're Come on. not that Sony's the best at planning everything, but you know, they're trying to figure out this Spider Verse multiverse thing. And I gotta say, the animated movies have been fun. So even if we see Venom show up in you know one of the animated movies with Tom Hardy voicing him, that'd be great. I would accept that. Called the school begging to let but they made it very clear in Across the Spider-Verse that if you show up from a world where you're live action, then you are live action in the animated universe too. So I guess it would just be him showing up, which would be cool. I think since the Fox X-Men actors contract haven't expired yet, I think Marvel should make them MC a movie of that X-Men universe in classic 90s costume. Yeah, I mean, that that's interesting. Shall we? Um... The X-Men are a universe of their own, so that's why I'm kind of okay with, you know, Cap being dead and, or, or, or gone and Iron Man being dead and stuff. Because then it's like, you know, you, you when you do, when you bring in the X-Men, they're so big, they can dominate the universe themselves. And then plus with the Fantastic Four and these other Marvel characters that they're trying to put stuff with, um, it's, it's, it's a lot. It's a big universe. That's why we said about DC when they go... We're trying to make a shared DC universe. I'm like, dude, just Batman could be a shared DC universe. You could just do a Batman movie, then do 
a Batman and Robin movie, forever. then do a Robin solo movie, then do a Nightwing movie and a Batgirl movie, and then a Batman movie where they all come together. I mean, you could literally do that with Bat, just with Batman. You could do that with Supergirl. You could do that with Green Lantern, uh, Wonder Woman, like all the Flash. Like all the DC characters can be their own universes if you wanted to do that. Um, there's enough lore there. Runtime error? No, we need noise, not power damage. Go. Ready to be tackled. This is what criminals do. Did that not? Am I a criminal now? Oh no. Okay, he ran over there. Okay. Hey. Homecoming. Tell you, I showed up presentation to my mom. She thought it was really great. She had one critique though. The name. She said we should rename it Heal the World. Heal the World. Right? Nice. Crap. Hey. Oh, I really wish I had backed this project up. I barely mind. got out of there. It was definitely a kid. No such thing as the ghost of Midtown. <gasps> got him. Eating vents. A spider's best friend. I'm out of webbing, so I can't. Jesus, I found the red room. Okay, where did I leave my web fluids? I'll admit to a little bit of hero worship here. Avengers, yeah. I know Avengers I Tower. Under here somewhere. There we go. Gotcha. Just for Secret Wars for fun, introduce them to a newer and younger generations. I mean. Yeah, I guess. I mean, for me, you can introduce those characters to a younger generation just by showing an advertisement for them. Like when they go, you know, they could make a, a thing like, hey, you know, every every Marvel thing that's ever existed, all the way back to the Dolph Lundgren Punisher to now, fits somewhere in our multiverse. They can make like a cool little YouTube video that just explains that and then re-release all those movies, you know, the ones they own at least or can get the rights to back. And put them on their streaming service, whatever they want to do, and be like, this is the multiverse, you know. You may never see these characters again, but you can know that they they exist. The these things so I don't run out. Now to meet Harry at the gym. Oh, the gym is on the other side of the van. Gotta get past it. Here we go. Um, I mean, that's just me, personally. Like, I, I just... There's a... Wait, I gotta back up. There we go. Backpack. Hey. Put that here. Nice. Gotta start keeping track of these things. But I hear what I hear what you're saying. I mean, I, I and and what you what you're saying is what I think majority of people want. I'm I'm just one of those you know like weirdos <laughs> that doesn't. Um, I mean, I wouldn't say no to it. I just I don't always think that that's uh that that's always like needed. Did I go the right way? I don't think I went the right way. Oh. Go. I bet Harry's already at the gym. Gotta hurry. I know, I've been in the school for like 45 minutes. I'm sorry. Nice. All right. But yeah, doing those things for fun, like the cam, I get it. Like, I, and I think a lot of people would have fun seeing some of those characters again. Um, but for me, like I said, it would just, to me, it would come across like the Flash, where it's just like, here's this character, and here's this character, and I'm kind of like, yeah, I didn't like it in the Flash movie, personally. That was crazy. Well, this place looks the same, except no security guard on our tails. Which... Gives us a minute for some hoops. Are you sure you're up for this? Question is, are Those you Those shoes. <gasps> Let's see it, big talker. So if you had to pick, like, your top three characters you want to see the most in Secret Wars, like, uh, speaking to what you were saying, Jay Money, about just things for fun, what would be three that you would just love to, to see? Good one. 
am so happy you're feeling better. Seriously. Nice. But make it better and do it right better than The Flash did it. Yeah, I mean, that, me personally, I know people that love the stuff in The Flash. I just didn't, you know, very much. Um, but yeah, J Money, let me know. What, what are some uh, some characters you'd like to see? No rush. Your top three, if you could pick. Well, when MJ moves in, maybe she'll help with the house. I don't know. You don't think she'll help? I don't know if she'll move in. Oh. Oh. Well, I mean, it seemed like you guys were doing good. Sure did. What is oh, this? Yeah. How did you go on? Take what it. is it? Oh, crap. Uh -oh. Who's that? Nice touch. Is uh, this guy part of all this, too? Nope. <laughs> Run. Hey! Oh, no. Dude, we're going to get arrested. Not if he doesn't catch us. Dude, you can barely walk here. <laughs> the Spider-Man trio: Hugh, Wolverine, and Edward Norton's Hulk. Oh, Edward Norton Hulk, that'd be cool. But is he? He's not a separate universe. He's technically the MCU universe, right? Like he's uh, he's that same banner. Um, it's kind of like George Clooney and and uh, Val Kilmer are technically the same Batman. Uh, they're not a different universe from each other. Um, even though they're different actors. I got an idea. What should I do? Don't get caught. Wait, I keep forgetting. What time is it? Oh, okay. So we're gonna have to wrap this up here in about right after this scene. This is where we're gonna end tonight. So this was fun. And you guys, let me know. Do you prefer me just talking and shooting the crap over gameplay, or do you prefer me, um, you know, being a hundred percent focused in the game? I'd love that kind of feedback because. I'll be honest, I don't game much these days, and when I do, I usually just do this, where I talk over all the scenes, and and I, sometimes people get pissed about that. They're like, dude, I, I want your 100% focused, and I'm like, I can do that. I just I just didn't know if, if you guys wanted that or not. Popcorn. That's gotcha. huh? What was that? Whoa. How am I supposed to get out of here? Good call. Oh. I just want to tell you how I feel. That's pretty great. Oh, we got Rick rolled. <laughs> that is amazing. That is freaking amazing. <laughs> Dude, I like Harry. <laughs> he, he won me over with that little stunt there. Oh. It's not the cops. It's his dad. Yeah, I love that movie. They're doing the Hulk really dirty in the MCU right now. I mean, yeah, I guess. What was he doing? What was the last time we saw him? Was it She-Hulk? Where he was kind of like a meditating... Dad, I told you I'd call you when I got home. Uh, Smart Hulk? It's your mother. Uh, yeah, I love that movie. I love the Edward Norton movie. That you're right. That movie. That's my favorite Hulk. Anything outside of the comic books, because I love a lot of the Hulk comic runs. Um, but as far as movies and TV shows and stuff go, that Hulk Edward Norton played was is my favorite. Uh, she Hulk was a mess. Is that what you're saying? Uh, the only thing I liked in the show was Daredevil. Yeah, it was cool to see him again in like the same costume, but yellow and red. Um, Oh. Gotcha. So that's when his dad took him away, huh? Um Yeah, I'm not I wasn't a big fan of the She Hulk show. What is this? Um No, I still think we would have won state if we'd presented. But I love uh, I love that Edward Norton movie. It's so good. Lots happened in the last ten years. The Emily May Foundation. It's a miracle I'm even sitting here now. Wait, is he giving him a job? I got a second chance. I'm going to take advantage of that. Uh, Bedwetter said he hadn't watched anything in the MCU since Endgame. Oh, man. There's a couple good things. I liked Moon Knight. I mean, personally, I, I have a bias wow, there, but this is, uh, um, I do like I did like Moon process. Knight. I thought it was different. Um, Why don't you come by the lab tomorrow? 
and boy was it like a looking at a mirror at times uh no pun intended uh, just watching the show um but uh i liked what if i thought what if was cool i really like loki season one and i'm i'm so far i'm liking season two um and i liked wandavision up until the last like two episodes uh i liked all the sitcom-y black and white uh sitcom stuff i thought that was awesome Oh, here we go. Are these Craven drones? You are confirmed. Strike force K1 on approach. Here we go. The manor and arena are nearly complete. Recon units report in. Dude, look at him. He's like, I love this. I thought he was supposed to be hunting them. Who scratched his face? I think it was a lion or a wolverine. Prepare for the transfer tomorrow. And do not fail again. I feel like if Wolverine scratched his eye, it would have been a lot worse than that. <laughs> I think his brain would have went with that eye. <laughs> so yeah, not Wolverine. Maybe it was a cat scratching him like Nick Fury. Like a little baby cat. Um, maybe bring back Terrence Howard as a different variant of War Machine. I can't wait for the Armor War movie. I hope they make Don Cheadle the new Iron Man instead of making it Ironheart. And even Iron Are they doing Ironheart? I feel like, I think I have heard that. I'll be honest, I don't pay attention to some of the news, but, um, yeah. Oh, yeah, Ironheart's from, she was in Black Panther, right? Oh, so they're, they're trying to set her up to be the new, like, Tony Stark. So the way to, the way you do like Peter's already the new Tony Stark, right? In that universe. Look at him; he's wearing the Arachnite suit too. That's cool. Um, but Peter's already that. He's a smart kid who's a prodigal, and he's you know. So you already kind of have that. Putting him in an Iron Man suit is just too on the nose when you're when you're trying to, you know, create the next legacy character in a way. I mean, I don't know. Sometimes it works. Like Captain America mantle being passed on to Falcon, I like that, you know. I'm like, yeah, that's cool. It's got to go to somebody. Um, someone's got to be Captain America. It's going. Um, and I'd, I'd prefer that than a reboot, to be honest with you. It's um, better if I don't know the details. I'll be fine, Ma. That's, I like that about the Dark Knight Rises movie, even though I didn't love the movie completely. I did love that the mantle you know of Batman got passed on to somebody at the end of that movie. I, uh, I know some people go like, no, Bruce Wayne would never give up being Batman. He's always going to be Batman. You know, he would die before he gave up. And it's like, yeah, the comic version has to do, think that way. Because you can't end the comic version. He has to be Bruce Wayne forever almost. <laughs> but in a movie, you can totally say goodbye to Bruce Wayne. You know? Well, it's going well. Do you like the idea of Harrison no, Ford as Thunderbolt Ross? Me? Yeah, I think that's neat because I, I like that I character know. of Thunderbolt Ross, and it's, it's a real shame um, about William Hurt sure when he passed away. Spider stuff I can be doing. So it's cool to see that character no, get like maybe some conclusion. You. And I'd like you to meet him. Yeah, you don't like that idea either. Yeah. I totally yeah, not a big fan Come of either. Look, you had me about the loan. Oh, you don't like my idea about the the the, the, the Ironheart thing? Oh, I'm sorry. You you agree with me? You don't like the Ironheart thing? Yeah, that uh, yeah, because the, the thing is like you already have Peter, is already like your next Iron Man because he's not ex when you want to do an, the next Iron Man you don't want him to be exactly like Iron Man, you want to have some differences and Peter there's some differences there, um, so it works. Um, anyway, though we got a nice little scene there with Miles and his mom. Yep. There's another one. Here we go. I should catch that up draft. All right, so we'll uh Nice. Come on, wind. Come on, wind. Dude, there he Look at us in our new costumes. You could make it. Looks like I'm just in time. 
No Way Home kind of gave Peter a, a restart, made his own costume, homemade, a no Stark Tech related character, a new trilogy. Exactly. And that's what's cool about it was that it's like he's like, I'm not going to be I am going to be like Iron Man. I'm going to be my own man. I'm not going to, you know, like Iron Man was struggling in a way to like take the best parts of his father and, and then become his own man, too. And I think that's what Peter did by the end of No Way Home. He hung out with other Peters and he saw how cool it is to be Peter Parker. Um, and he was like, yeah, see, I can be me and still keep the memory of Tony, uh, you know, and the spirit of Tony around. Oh, look at this. Dude. That's he. So Martin Lee in this universe caused the explosion that killed uh, Miles' father, I think. So he's going to want... Oh, no. Miles. Oh, so Miles is going to deal with anger in this game, too. Oh, I wonder if Miles will get the, the symbiote. Or watch Miles will be the one who resists it. You know, like, like I said, he's kind of OP a little bit there. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how they handle this arc, but I'm interested. I love the Martin Lee character. I, I thought they did a great job with him in the first game. And I want Martin Lee so bad to show up in the next Venom movie because I want to see anti-Venom, <laughs> you know, in live action. Uh, that would just look so cool. And you kind of need Martin Lee to do it because he's the cause of anti-Venom in the comic books. Fireworks. We gotta go. Interesting. Make sure the prisoners are secure. Oh crap. Oh, this is a breakout. So oh this is great. So Craven doesn't want to break these guys out to team up with them like the like Doc Ock did in the first game. He wants to break them out to destroy them. Martin Lee looks like Jared Leto Morbius. <laughs> nice. <laughs> In that scene back there, I think Miles will be in the MCU after the third animated movie. You think so? You're definitely going to see a live-action Miles. I promise you that. All right, here we go. I really should have stretched. Your head will make a fine trophy. Okay. Whoa, Harry. You must be new in town. Hi, I'm Spider-Man. In case you didn't know, these guys are bad news. Definitely want to keep them in prison. Get out of our way. This does not concern you. All right. Get the welcome wagon. Man, who are you people? And where do you even come from? I'll give them one thing. They know what they want. We are men. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Got it. Gotcha. Let's do it. I don't know if the game curves your um, curves the difficulty after you die, because I feel like the first round I get my butt kicked, and the second round it's like a flawless victory. <laughs> I mean, I am assessing like where enemies are, and I'm trying to trying to be more aware. But there's so much going on, and I don't know if you can. Uh, you know, it's kind of an excuse, but I don't know if you can hear it in my voice. But um, I have a cold. So like I'm like I'm over here like muting my mic, you know, wiping my face, <laughs> looking back at the screen, checking on Ace, and then like and then looking up at the screen and just seeing enemies and bullets everywhere. And I'm like, okay, yeah, I'm I'm overwhelmed right now. So not an excuse though. Just just letting you know my scenario. <laughs> but yeah, I got dude that first round. I don't know what happened. I got stomped on that one. Do you like Charlie Cox Daredevil? I love Charlie Cox Daredevil. I love that show. That show's amazing. 
Yeah, I'm not a fan of him needing goons either. I'm hoping there's a reason for that. I mean, I know there's a video game reason for it. You know, for video games, you, you need goons uh, to fight. But uh, I wish they did something in a story where it was like, these are followers of his that are like, like he's like, I'm going to go to New York and do this myself. Uh, you know, you guys have been bringing me hunts for all these years, and, and they fail, so I'm going to go do this. And then you can make them devout followers where they're like, no, we want to prove ourselves to Craven, and they show up and fight Spider-Man. And Craven's like, you know, no, I don't want you here. Um, that would be something that's cool. Um, that would stick more to Craven. Hello? No signal. Better hurry up. Ooh. Ooh. Worse out there. Who shot that giant harpoon? Boy. What? I'll get you out. Here comes the tail. Oh, never mind. Dang, Miles. Oh, crap. Thanks a million kids. Gee, ooh. Oh, crap. Saved you. Really? Yeah, he kind of did. Oh, no. Poisoned. There's the guard. No. Oh, jeez. Like a uh, fear toxin from Scarecrow. So he's hallucinating. Oh, man. Oh, crap. We have eyes on Scorpion. Oh, look. Come on, man. Come on. Oh, crap. Dude, this is trippy. Oh, God, watch your head. Oh, wow, that's... Whoa! Dude. What a sequence, man. Normally you would do this with, like, Mysterio or something. Um. Time running out, huh? Come on, buddy. You got this. Get to uh, get there to the oxygen. Oh no. That's not good. Come on, Pete, save him. Oh. Yeah, you do. You gotta stop bumping into stuff too, dude. Jeez. Dude, breathe, breathe, take a breath. Holy crap, that was... I'll be honest with you, I'm afraid of drowning, so that scene was uh, very unsettling. Lee? Not much of a hunt. He's He was already locked up. Not a very fair fight. Maybe that's what they're doing. They're taking these villains and putting him in a cage match with Craven the Hunter. Spider-Man! They got Lee! Scorpion 2! Enough 
I love that they're just calling each other Spider-Man. I'm, I'm into that. I was like, one of them's still up because I didn't hear the slow motion music. Go, 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 Miles. Yes. Oh, nice. You're going to end up killing Martin Lee, dude. <laughs> Got to be careful. Oh. Craven is not having any luck, right? He's uh, about to lose Martin Lee. As far as I know, they didn't get Scorpion. And he didn't get Sandman at the beginning. All because of Spider-Man. Spider-Man. Oh, sorry. I, s <laughs> I don't know if you heard me. I sneezed and I tried really hard not to... <laughs> uh, let it blind me for too long. Look at that big harpoon on the side. Enjoy the water, buddy. I think that's all of them. Holy crap, that's what you thought, dude. Craven's got a lot of goons and drones. Here he is. We'll listen to that theme song. Oh, dang. Oh, good. Spider-Man, things just went from bad to East River on fire bad. That's to East River on fire bad. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, jeez. There's so many people in New York. <laughs> we go. Oh my. Dude, you ain't seen Bad Boys too? Oh no, are they actually getting away with Martin Lee? Come on, Miles, don't give up. Yeah, there we go. I love this. I love how determined Miles is right now. He's like, I'm not letting this guy go. Dude, 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 dude. Get it, get it, get it, get it. I gotta say, we haven't had like a breath yet. Like, I, I mean, we had a little bit with the, the high school thing and walking around the house of Mary Jane, but I mean, I, I don't know if it was enough. There we go. Get him. Stay down, dude. Jesus. What is that? Oh, come on. Oh, is he out? Oh, boy. Oh, dude. You should have stayed. Oh, no. Miles, Miles, Miles. Turn around. Miles, Miles. Oh, thank goodness. All right, so they're definitely going with anger and vengeance as a theme. Yeah. Well, he almost let some civilian die. Oh, was there like a little humanity there in, in Martin Lee? 
Craven, such an opportunist hunter so far. <laughs> Jeez. Jeez, look at that. Miles is so determined. Dude, we're going to lose these people, Miles. Don't make me yell your real name. Spider-Man, I need your help. Dude, come on. He's lucky that worked out for the best. <laughs> that could have went backwards <laughs> and just chopped everyone in half. Jeez, that was tense, though, with, with Miles there. Oh, my goodness. That was really well done, that scene. That was a great theme with Craven. You're not kidding there. You're not kidding. That was a really cool theme. I was wondering, was there any drum beats in it? I feel like Craven just has one of those those types of themes where you would add drum beats to it. Police are still fishing, but there's no sign of them. Any luck up river? Nothing but debris. Who are those guys? Whoever they are, they're packing some serious tech. And now they got all that. They're the lollipop guild. Hey, whatever they're planning. We'll find him. We'll stop him. Yeah. We'll go back to their uh, other costumes in the next episode. It was cool to see the Arachnite costume, I though. Saw Lee inside that ship. I want that Prowler costume for Miles, though. They... You think his energy got entangled with yours? I don't know, man. But it feels... volatile. Huh. Wherever Electric Blue came from, it saved the day back there. Hey. We'll put Lee back where he belongs. Promise. So see, they're already setting up that Lee's powers can alter things. So he just... Over here. He's, al my he's altering Miles' energy, electricity, uh, venom blast, so... You're too much, man. <laughs> Thanks for doing the right thing, Miles. You're a good kid. Hang in there, Miles. Balance, Pete. Show him the fist you punched in the wall. Tell him the thing Aunt May told you. <laughs> 